On August the 5th, a rocket attack was launched at an airbase in Iraq, where military forces from the US and other countries are stationed, according to Reuters. Two sources within Iraqi security forces reported that the Ain al-Assad airbase in western Iraq was hit by two Katyusha rockets. An Iraqi security source stated that the rockets landed on the base's grounds. Several U.S. personnel were injured in a suspected rocket attack against U.S. and coalition forces at Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq, a U.S. defense official said. We can confirm that there was a suspected rocket attack today against U.S. and coalition forces at Al-Assad Air Base, Iraq, the official said. Initial indications are that several U.S. personnel were injured. Base personnel are conducting a post-attack damage assessment. As a result of the attack, at least five American service members were injured, with one sustaining serious injuries. The number of casualties may change. Base personnel are conducting a post-attack damage assessment, one of the officials said. The U.S. defense official said troops at Al-Assad Air Base were still assessing the injuries and damage and it appeared that military troops and civilians were injured. The agency notes that it is currently unclear whether the attack is connected to Iran's threats of retaliation for last week's killings of senior members of Hamas and Hezbollah. Iran, along with its Islamic groups Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Houthis in Yemen, is planning a large-scale missile attack on Israel soon. U.S. officials have long blamed attacks on troops in Iraq and Syria on Iran-backed militia groups. Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh said last month after a drone attack on al-Assad that it was most likely carried out by Iranian-supported groups. This response comes after the killing of a senior Hamas leader, Ismail Haniyeh, and a top Hezbollah commander, Fawad Shukur, by Israeli military and intelligence forces on July the 31st. Additionally, Iran has blamed the U.S. for Haniyeh's death. The U.S. is increasing its military presence in the Middle East to defuse the situation. Прямое попадание в блиндаж. Блиндаж уничтожен. Ангар полностью выгорел. Это вот все, что осталось от мотоцикла. Полностью все уничтожено. Прямое попадание в блиндаж. Блиндаж уничтожен. Ангар полностью выгорел. Это вот все, что осталось от мотоцикла. Полностью все уничтожено.